Ah, America, home of the people. And the American people have a huge problem. Is it that all our food is filled with chemicals, pesticides, and PFAS that is literally altering our DNA, leading to many, many health epidemics? No. Is it that the middle class has been completely obliterated, leading to an ever-growing gap between the uber-rich and the super-poor majority, which will inevitably lead to the collapse of our society and massive, massive amounts of death and suffering? Uh-uh. Is it because we're on the verge of World War III because governments have intentionally broken terms of peace in order to gain financially at the behest of the death of millions and millions of innocent people? Nope. America's number one problem is way worse than you could ever imagine. Let's start at the beginning. So it's the holiday season Easter, the Lord's Day, and I enjoy the festivities like any guy. So I went down to my local Walmart to peruse the holiday goods, and that's when I saw something truly horrifying. I warned those with weak constitutions, you might want to look away, because I saw a gnome. Gnomes, gnomes everywhere. On the Lord's Day, there's no gnomes. There's rabbits, but there's actually a reason for that. You see, some rabbits can get basically double pregnant, where they can, before they give birth, they can get pregnant again. And so from an onlooker's perspective, it looks like, you know, they had another phantom pregnancy or virgin birth, if you will, you know, like the Virgin Mary. So Rabbits have been used as a symbol for the Virgin Mary for a long time now. You can see it in old paintings and stuff. And that's why there's a rabbit, you know. It, it's a little dumb, but at least it has a reason. Unlike the gnomes. And I bet by now you're like, it's just some gnomes. What's the big deal? Oh yeah? No big deal, huh? Well, take a look at this shit. That's right. Valentine's Day gnomes. Mother of God. I bet now you're singing a different tune, huh? And it all started with Christmas. That's when the horrors began. Now my first response when confronted with the gnomes was disgust and hatred, naturally. But gnomes are very Santa-like, you know? They both have beards, they're both magical creatures, and they both try to break into your house to do weird shit. Also, certain depictions of elves can be very gnome-like. I clearly didn't like seeing the gnomes in Christmas, but I decided to let it go. My first mistake. For behold, not even one year later. Halloween. They infiltrated my favorite holiday with their filth. I saw the writing on the wall and I proclaimed to my fellow countrymen that we must stop this infestation, but they didn't understand and the sickness spread. Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo. Our Independence Day. You sickos, they've gone too far. What's next, huh? Arbor Day? Are we going to replace Punxsutawney with some bare-ass gnome? When will it end? All of this right here? I don't care for it. Stop it. No. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, folks. America has an epidemic on its hands. Why are they here? Where did they come from? And what is their overarching goal in all this? 
Somebody knows. Somebody knows. Don't you think we should be more concerned about those other things you mentioned? Well, oh, you mean all that stuff about America poisoning its own people, driving up poverty, and pushing us towards World War III? Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs>